Hey guys, what's up? I've got something really special for you guys today. It's your friend Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. And today I've got an Ingve Malmsteen Signature Strat, brand spanking new. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. It's totally free. Come join the circle of friends. There's 3,000 of us and uh, we're growing every day. It's totally cool. We comment, we share information, and we just hang out and drool over these super cool guitars that I find from all over the world and share up close and in person as if you were holding them in your very own hands. So let's talk about what we've got here. This thing is a couple months old. You can see the serial number there, US18. And it came to us from someone who got it from a dealer on kind of a wacky like three-way trade deal. And it's never been played. You can see it still has the seal over the tremolo hole. So if you're unfamiliar on new fenders, you'll have that cover. There'll be a little spring behind that. And then uh, you can use your tremolo bar. Yeah. Now, what is so special and cool about this guitar is the fretboard. Ingve, if you're not familiar with him, it's Y-N-G-W-I-E. Well, you can see the spelling on the video. He is a Swedish shred master. He has a famous quote, and it's, less is more, that's ridiculous. More is more. Something to the tune of that. But more is more, is what he wants to emphasize. You usually could catch him in a photo shoot in the 80s and early 90s with a red Ferrari in the background. And um, he's famous for his love of fast cars and fast licks. These have his signature Seymour Duncan uh, pick, uh, single coil pickups and uh, the poles are quite high in the center if you see that very interesting all of this is to his exact spec there's a great video of him shredding on this exact model a um, lot of distinguishing characteristics on it for instance brass nut we already talked about the scallop fretboard it's got big jumbo frets you can see the truss rod coming out there it's got the old vintage style string tree vintage 70 style headstock it's got the old school style tuning posts and tuners we'll show you that on the back and then the vintage white off-white body color Vintage style uh, fender stamped saddles. I'm having trouble talking today. Jeez. And I'll tell you what, it looks striking. Like it really pops. You've got a high gloss on the fretboard that really makes it shine. If you're unfamiliar with scalloped necks, why they do it, there's a great YouTube video. It's like the first thing that pops up if you put like why scallop fretboard or Y scallop neck. The gist of it is this. Essentially what happens is you can play a lot faster because you never you you never come into contact with the fretboard. So you don't have the friction. So it's much easier to do like crazy bends, crazy vibrato when you play uh chords sliding, you know, sliding to uh, another position is effortless the the downside is, is if you play really hard like if if you uh pull your chords your strings down hard you can make the note go out of pitch because of course you can kind of bend it that way too so it takes a little bit of getting used to and at first uh james here at the studio didn't like it and then he said wait a second this is awesome I noticed it and liked it straight away, and I've never played on a fully scalloped neck before. I've only played on ones that like had the lower fret scalloped, and that's just, uh, you know, you're never playing down there anyway. It's, it's something super special, super cool, and if you are a collector, you got to have one of these. It's just, yes, it's a, it's a signature guitar from another guy, but what a tool in the arsenal, and just like... It's kind of like the Swiss Army knife of guitars. You can just do everything. 
but you should really check out the video of the man himself playing this so you get a really good idea of just how awesome these things can sound. So this still has the hang tag on it. Like I said, it hasn't been used. The, the case, the like I said, in the trade de deal with the dealer, the case wasn't included. That was just sold off separately. It's got the old school F stamp tuners. Awesome. There's your American serial number, US 18. Skunk stripe. Uh, you have the Dunlop strap locks there because it has the recessed strap lock system, which is very cool. Back cover. Uh, there's no back cover that came with it. I don't know why. I don't know if it was adjusted. I don't know if his signature models just don't come with them. Again, I don't know much about this other than that it's brand new, came from the dealer, and it didn't have the case. It does have the tremolo bar and the strap locks. That being said, not really hard to source a, a cover for a Fender Strat. You can uh, get them anywhere straight from Fender. So yeah, guys. That is the Ingve Malmsteen Signature Strat. Show that headstock one more time. High gloss, like I said, on the headstock and on the fretboard. You kind of see the light shining on it. And then you've got the nice multi ply pick guard, vintage colored knobs and plastics there. Really nice. Still has the plastic film on the pick guard, by the way. It might be hard to see. But someone gets to have the fun of peeling that off. I've personally never had the opportunity to do that. If you want to buy this, it is for sale on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com, or on Reverb.com, our good, good buddies. They host our website. They take care of us, so we got to take care of them. Give them a shout out. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I got so many guitar videos to do for you today. Stick around on the channel. More coming up. If you have a chance, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Essex Recording Studios. Give us a like. Give us a follow. And uh, we'll stay in touch. Later, dudes.